is Asavi's workshop lightsaber a toy? So a lot of people are asking this question. Savi's workshop is the new kind of build your own lightsaber experience that's at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which is the Star Wars land at Disneyland and Disney World. So is it a toy though? Well, yes and no. <laughs> Let's go over some of the reasons that this would be a toy and a few of the reasons that it may not really be an appropriate toy. So uh, first, first of all, let's go over the reasons that it would be a toy. Now, the recommended age for Savi's Workshop lightsabers is five and up, okay? So that means it, it could be, you know, theoretically wielded by a child, which makes sense because Disneyland is a very child-centric experience and they don't want to kind of, you know, alienate kids from this lightsaber building process, especially since, you know, the whole Savi, Savi's Workshop thing, it looks like a lot of fun. So I actually got this lightsaber used. I, I wasn't privileged enough to get the actual building experience, but it looks like a fun time. It's essentially a show where at the end you get a lightsaber out of it. So that's pretty neat. And it seems to, you know, be designed essentially for kids that way. Um, but yep, it's five and up. And the for, you know, the lightsaber, the recommended user age is five and up. And the reason for that is probably because there are not really many small parts on this hilt. There's, it's really only a few different components that make up the entire hilt and all the pieces are quite large. Like here's sort of this panel section from the middle that I removed from the other side. Oops. This is one of the smaller pieces on the hilt. Another one of the smaller pieces on the hilt is actually this kyber crystal. Uh, but you know, neither of these pieces is very small, right? And so that's probably part of why, um, you know, it recommended age is five and up. There also aren't sharp edges or things like that. So that's probably another reason. The hilt does have this very kind of oversized feel. And sometimes you see that with toys too, right? So, so a lot of toys can, can be, seem like kind of larger, um, be a larger scale than a more realistic thing. So that gives this sort of the sense of a toy too. And even I would say the overall look, um, it looks very toy like it's kind of very over the top in design. And I don't mean in just, just in terms of the size, just, just kind of the coloring and other things like that. It doesn't look as realistic as some other lightsabers, like say the Force FX lightsabers, they look a little more realistic. Um, something about kind of the coloring and layout of, of this hilt, it's, it's very, a little bit over the top, at least that's my interpretation of it. So all of those reasons would point to this being a toy. And, you know, it's just possible for a child to use this lightsaber. And it makes sense that Disney would design it that way. Now, there are several reasons that make this uh, not so much of a practical toy, though. And we can go back to the size of the hilt again. So it is kind of oversized. It's about a foot long and it's about two inches in diameter, which for lightsabers is quite wide. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, a lot of lightsabers are a bit, you know, thinner in diameter. Although some of the plastic toy lightsabers could be wider, like this too. But that leads to the next point. This is not plastic, you guys. This is actually metal, and it's pretty heavy. So I weighed the hilt by itself, and at least for the components that I have, the hilt weighs two pounds six ounces, or somewhere around that. So that's quite heavy. I mean, imagine a five-year-old wielding that. that. That's a little bit much. And then you combine it with the blade. Now there are different blade lengths available. So at least that you can get kind of a, a shorter blade, you know, for kids, because usually they find that a bit more manageable, but this is still metal. This is still a bit heavy. And, you know, a lot of times things for kids are plastic um, just because they're lighter and they're just a little bit safer too. So, those would be a few arguments for this not really being a toy. Um, those would be a lot of the main arguments. I mean, the other argument would just simply be the price. So a lot of times people won't spend hundreds of dollars on a toy for a child, right? Like if it's a lightsaber for a child, some people will spend maybe 10, 20, $50 at most, maybe a hundred. 
These Savvy's Workshop lightsabers, which are paired with the experience of building the lightsaber, they, they cost $200. And if you buy them on eBay used or somewhere else, they're even more. So, you know, you could use price as an argument too. But what do you guys think is the Savvy's Workshop lightsaber? you know, like the one here, is it a toy or is it not? Is it for adults? Uh, I think you could sort of make a fair argument either way for several reasons. So I would love to hear from you below.